So what is going on guys, this is Carepines here and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. We are back to the Quarkcraft series. So last time or in the last video we were, we were mining, we made a farm and we've done a lot and a lot of progress. Well in this video we are going to be doing a ton of crazy stuff so if you if you think we're gonna be having so much fun in this video please be sure to hit that like button and if you want to see more videos like this please be sure to, be sure to subscribe so let's begin with it so in, like I said in the last video we've made a farm and stuff well you might notice like a lot of the a lot of different stuff well I noticed that the GUI was too small for people to see so I enlarged this so now we have a larger GUI uh, I I'm using now a, a, a resource pack or a texture pack which is faithful 64 by 64 which why you can see that the te textures are a little bit different but they're awesome like there are vanilla textures but a lot better like I love that rainbow XP bar it's awesome and you can see like stuff are like 3d like look at the furnace the chest the crafting table you can see a lot of stuff is like has like shadows and stuff it's so cool now in between episodes I've done a lot of stuff even though like most of these stuff are already I've done a lot of stuff like I said first uh, I told you like I changed the GUI I added the resource pack I also added two mods two of my favorite mods which are which are chisel and chisels and bits these might sound like they're the same but believe me they're entirely different from each other well the chisel mod let me show you before before I get out and show you what I've done outside because I've done some like crazy stuff outside that this is the chisel Okay, the chisel mod allows you to make different like varieties of a block. So let me put blanks over here. Look at the amount of blocks that I can make from these blanks. Like I can chisel the planks to make like a lot, like more varieties of them. Like look at this. I can do that. It uses the chisel, but it uses some durability of the chisel, like as you can see here but this is no problem like and also most of the chisel blocks like are like multi blocks so you can use a lot of them and I my axe broke so I haven't made a new one yet so I'm gonna be like breaking those with hand but those look so cool like I said and my my inventory is terrible right now because I've been doing so much stuff outside. I'm so excited to show it to you. But like what I'm talking about multi-block stuff like what can I say? Like hmm. Just just watch. Okay, so let's turn those back to normal planks. L like look at for example like okay not all the blocks you can modify but some blocks you can modify them to crazy extent like look, like look at the cobblestone like some of the stuff are crazy like look at this you see this block when you put it this is a multi block you put it on its own it doesn't look this much but when you put more of it like you can see it's a multi block and it looks awesome like seriously 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 cool Okay, where is my pickaxe? Did my pickaxe broke as well? Because I haven't seen it. I, don't, I actually don't remember the last episode, so... I don't remember if my pickaxe broke in that episode or not. But yeah, this is the... So, all of this is the chisel mod. This is a, a, a totally decorative mod. Like, you can do a lot of decorative stuff with it. Like, just... just I want you to look at this one. Just look at this one. This one. Like, this... This... This temple one is like the coolest thing ever just like like oh my god I cannot yeah I I cannot like stop loving this mod okay so I'm gonna turn those back into normal cobblestone just because I do not want to yeah normal cobblestone again okay so that 
as you can as you saw right there that was the chisel mod now what is the chisels and bits mod well that's a, a totally different mod actually i don't i don't remember if i can make a chisel using like can i make a chisel using Actually, let me search. Can I search? Yes, I can search. Let me see if I can find... Yeah, this chisel. Okay. So, this is from Chisels and Bits. Now, Chisels and Bits is a totally different mod. Chisels and Bits allows you to modify each pixel of the block. Sounds insane, right? Like, look. Let me show you, for example. I have this Celtic block. I'm... Here we go. I have this thing. Now I can modify it. I'm gonna like this is gonna be so cool. I want you to look at it. See, this is like each pixel of the block. I can if I hold the alt the alt button on my keyboard, I can change the setting on the chisel. So I can make it like a snap quarter size cube, so like I can see over here, or I can make it an eight size so cube so I can do this as you can see I can take out bits from it so you can make like crazy amount of stuff from that these are bits you can put them on the ground you can throw them I'll throw them in the lava but anyway and the block you mine when it's chiseled it's the same like look at this block it says cobble cobblestone celtic over here because this is not the one that i chiseled this is the one that i chiseled it says chisel cobblestone and it's as you can see it's still it saved the the chiseling that i did also you can like write chisels and stuff so yeah this is so cool this is like one of my favorite mods so uh, like yeah as you can see two decorative mods for decoration which are oh, I, like for decoration slash building anyway let me show you as you can see like the resource pack the doors let me show you what I've done let me show you what I've done as you can see this is a road I've made a road with torches and stuff I'm just gonna keep walking like this without showing you what I've done so as you can see this is the road I have built all of this road until here so this was the farm that we built and as you can see I've built an entire bridge yeah I've built a I've built an entire bridge going from here all the way to the farm on the other side with a pathway like with with an entire pathway going all around oh and this just yeah oh my god I don't have my damn it I don't have my shovel oh god damn it wait can I use I wonder can I use this guy I no no not this guy this is the chisel one yes I can still use the different types of stone to make normal stone stuff so here we go because I was waiting for the grass to do its thing and now it's done. Now this looks much better. As you can see, I've been doing some work on the farm. This is, this is all out. Uh, let me get... Here we go. See, see. For some reason it doesn't want to... It doesn't want to right click. Maybe... Oh wait, maybe right clicking is in the Pumps Harvest Craft mod. Which is a really good food mod. Like I said guys before, if you want me to add any mod, if you have any mod, any good mods to to suggest, just put them in the comments or tweet, tweet me them. And I will definitely consider adding them. Because I love some good mods that will improve the game. And like, give us much more stuff to do in the series. So, now that... I have said all of this. I probably like spent 10 minutes explaining and saying what all what I've done in between episodes, but it's just a lot of stuff. Anyway, so now that we are now that this is out of the way, my plans for today is to go through a bit a little bit of advances. Oh, 
Oh, oh, that's the, yeah, the, the resource pack is messing with the advancements. I'll just ignore that. So, what we're gonna do today is we, we haven't found diamonds yet, I think. Yeah, so we built a farm. I, I actually, okay, so I got a, damn, I got a suggestion of something to build on the the island over here and it looked cool and all but i was thinking of building something a little bit more different since now i have chisel and chisels and bits so my idea is an elevator that goes from down here all the way up there and building a sky base as you can like i can already imagine a sky base so for that we're gonna need a ton of materials. I don't know if I should build it uh, out of cobblestone because I, you, as you guys saw, cobblestone, chiseled cobblestone, I don't mean regular cobblestone. So I don't know my priority yet <laughs> for some reason. I don't have any plans for today. I just wanted to record something and I jumped in and recorded stuff. I, I like I'm all out of Minecraft because I've been like doing a lot of stuff between episodes. So I don't know whether I should like de decorate this room more or go and go out and do something different or like explore or go mining and like we have we have just a lot of stuff that we can do but I'm thinking of this thing okay so I might okay so for the elevator I don't know actually what I can do for it I don't want, I mean, I don't want to make a ladder, like, obviously. I do not want to have, like, a water elevator, because I don't like those very much. So, what I can do, I don't want a Minecraft elevator, because even though that's a really good elevator, it's still kind of, like, expensive. And it's only like an outboard elevator. Okay, so a redstone elevator. Will that be good? I mean, I'm thinking of a slime block that fires me upwards, but I don't think that it can fire me this whole distance. I think this is too much of a distance to do that. And I do not want to do a lot of extension. A flying machine that might be a good idea but I haven't built one before like I know I know about flying machines but I haven't built one before and it will seem a little bit okay so I might actually go on a testing world and see what I can do this will be new for you so yeah so I've been experimenting with some stuff and I think yeah I think it were or I think I've built something right so my, what I want to do is I want to place a button over here that will give me this thing down, which means that I need some redstone. Okay. This will send it up actually. So, okay, so updating this observer will send it up. Updating this observer will send it down. So let me again go about here, here, here. The problem is. I cannot put something over here because I want to update this guy. Unless... Can I update an observer through a block? Like if I... Okay. So again. I have redstone. So... This redstone... Needs to come up here. So I will do a redstone elevator using slabs. This will be the ground level, so this will be on the hill. So I can hide this and like put a block over here and put the button on it. And this should send this upwards. And it did. Why wouldn't it? Ooh. Yep. Did it lag? Or what? Okay, so what I want this as well to do is have a redstone circuit to be up here so can I no I cannot do that hmm 
I have to break this block. Okay, so this send it downward. Okay, so if I am standing over here, it works. But I think I know the, what the problem is. This guy. Okay, let me. Okay, so I won't be able to have something over here. So I need something that's updatable. What about a dropper? Yeah, what about a dropper? Yeah, that sounds so smart. A dropper with nothing, I mean, that would be loud, but that's an updatable thing. And having a button over it. Okay, so why does this do that? Maybe... Ooh, okay. So what I can see here is that now the redstone is touching the thing itself, but maybe the button is activating something over here so what if i put this thing higher and place the button somewhere here like that it still does this but this time it doesn't even launch oh something bad happened yeah yeah the machine just broke oh for goodness sake for goodness sake. Here we go. And then doing this. Yeah. The one on top is easier to activate. The one downstairs is harder. Okay, that works. And this one, this one is easy. This one just like that. Okay, that's not the problem. The problem... Okay, let me pull that up again. Oh, sorry, let me... Okay. So this is the flying machine itself. Okay, so what I want is I want a recall button as well. Wow, why am I like moving around so much? I'm sorry. I want a recall button. So this button will activate this, but I want it to activate other redstone as well. So I want it. Okay, this guy is not going to touch the machine, so I don't have to worry about that. Will this activate this redstone? Yes, it does. Okay, so I'll recall button. Let's say that I'm in the top, on the top, and I want to recall the ele the elevator from downstairs. This should not be hard at all, I suppose, at least. Let's try the slab elevator again. I may have an idea. So let me take this guy. This should activate. The problem is activating this will. Okay. Of course. Ah, God damn. Okay, actually, let me stop the recording and see what I can do, then come back to you. Okay, so progress update. Test for the recall. Oh, right, here we go. Okay, so the recall works. And if I press that again, I should go down. Awesome. Okay, so that's the recall. If I press that, that should send it upwards. And if I press that, that should send it downward. Okay, now I want this guy to do the same. Will it? Let's see. Because this is connected to the same circuit. So... No, I don't think it will. I don't think it will. If I press this, no. Okay, so this guy does activate this guy, but these guy. Hmm. We all need another guy. Yeah, this is not powered by it, so yeah. Like this. Let's see. So, test will go in 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, didn't work. Let's see what happened. Ooh, okay. Oh! I, I, I didn't put this in. Okay, let's go. Yes! Yes! Flipping yes! It flipping worked. Oh my god. This is like happiest moment of my life. Damn it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this, but I really want to hide this. I don't want this to be in like there. Something. 
Oh. Oh, I see. So it worked one time. Okay, so I knew that would happen. Okay. I'm gonna need, okay, so I'm gonna need a new transfer. Could I just use like observers? Of those use one take pulses and those are gonna be terrible. Yeah. But I just want to update it, so I think technically oh no, I want to do this. This, this, and finally this. Or no. Wait, does it work like that? Test in three, two, one. Okay, this is gonna go up. Let's try the recall. Go. Okay, no, it doesn't work. That's. It does work. Okay, okay. Okay, I just need to make sure. Okay, I'm recording. Let's go. Okay, so let's go up. Yes, okay. Let's go down. Okay, both of these will work. Okay, let's call it upstairs. Oh, yeah. Let's call it downstairs. Yes! Yes! It's all done! It's all done! Okay, now it needs just to just be decorated. Okay, so since we're in the 1.12.2, I can just decorate it using like movable objects. Of course, like I said, I'm gonna change them into terracotta, like glazed terracotta, because it's immovable. Which is really good news because it's some. Because they look so awesome. I set this to the entrance, so I'm gonna keep this open and then close it up here. Here we go. Now we've got the final test. So, this is... The, it doesn't matter how high it is, because this goes on indefinitely. Okay, so from inside, nothing looks suspicious. Everything is normal, so let's test the going upstairs. Oh, sorry. Go! Here we go. I'm on my floor. Now I want to go down, so I go over here and I press this button, and now we're going down, and we reach this this floor. Okay, now let's say that I'm over here. I want to call this, so I will use that, and it's coming upstairs, and here it is, and I go with it downstairs, and I can recall this from here. The the use of a dropper to update the observer is really smart. I I don't want to praise myself too much, but that's a, a, a really smart idea to like conserve block space. Okay, so the final thing to test is can I recall it downstairs again? Oh, damn it! The the button is way too far. I think I need to place the blocks like this to be able to reach it just in case I had to recall it downstairs here we go so this is gonna be this is the whole elevator just ignore the things in the background a big one especially that I'm gonna place this in the air I haven't actually thought of that I'm gonna have to like place a really really big I mean I can definitely work with something better than this but yeah so actually i might actually try to use like how i use observers over here i can try to use it like coming downstairs as well like to conserve space because come on that will be much easier i think i can actually do that yeah actually let's try this out i mean i'm not breaking something that like hard so instead of like doing the normal stuff this okay so i'm gonna use an observer coming like this this is gonna activate for the first time okay so like 
this, oh no, sorry, like this, sorry, this, 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 sorry, and then this, 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 no, sorry, this, and then this, this, then, then just that. So, okay, let's test this. If this works, it will be much easier. Yo, okay. I I actually forgot what this one was for. This one is going down, so it... Oh, is it? it's for the recall, and I just did that. Like, it, it worked, and it worked much faster. So I'm going downstairs. This is going upstairs. Again, downstairs. I can do this all day without like getting bored. Like this is just having an a, an elevator like this, which I can go upstairs like this. And I, like I said, this can go all the way up to world height. So like, I have I have infinite space. It just like depends on where you place like this obsidian over here. That's that, like, like, when I do this, see, I send it down. It depends where you place that obsidian over here. Like, I don't even think that I need to... Yeah, actually, let me try something. I think I can turn all of these into movable objects and just leave this guy as an unmovable object. Because, let's recall this. See? Yeah, exactly. And I can send, go with it down. Yeah, I don't need, yeah, yeah, I don't need for this to be a movable object. I can just leave it to be movable object. So, yeah, this is the design that I'm gonna be going for. But sadly, ladies and gentlemen, this is, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're gonna be trying to build this in the, like, in the survival world, I can imagine this is gonna take me so much because I don't want to build it with obsidian. I want it to build it with ter glazed terracotta. So I'm gonna have to find mesa biome and collect terracotta. Yeah, we're gonna have to be. We're gonna do some a lot of stuff. And the whole thing with the pistons and actually, can I use? I'm sorry, but observers are actually the most intriguing thing. So, can I use observers, just like, just observers instead of this whole thing? Okay, I'm gonna actually break that again to test this theory. So, I have an observer over here. Let me actually play. So, this... Is this guy supposed to be going down or going up? It's supposed to be going down. So, is this going down? No, this is going up. So, I need for this to be... Damn it. Okay. Like this. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I... And this, and just place redstone over here. And that should work. That definitely works. I mean, I'm gonna test it right now. Oh, what about this guy? It can use... It definitely can use observers instead of... Yeah, you can definitely use observers instead of like this. Oh, maybe one more. Like this. Let me get out of here and fill this. Please rest on. Okay, again, test this again. I'm sorry for so much test. Okay. Oh. Okay, it's not working for some reason. Ooh, maybe is it too fast? Or does it not catch? Oh, yeah, I get it. I haven't placed one over here. And it, it updated. So it is working. Okay, let's go upstairs. Downstairs. Call from upstairs. Call from downstairs. Yes! Okay, like I said, this is gonna be the end of this episode. I used too much observers instead of pistons, but I haven't realized how much, 
how much observers I'm gonna need for this. This is gonna be like a heck ton of stuff. So, this is gonna be the end of this video. If you enjoy, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. This is Carepons, and I'm out. Thank you for watching. Bye.